we reach the last day of our journey through the first week, Saturday, and our theme is purification. We're looking at a book each day called The Art of Lent, written by Sister Wendy Beckett, to help us journey to Easter. Each week is a theme, each day there is a Bible passage, there is a picture of a piece of art, and a short thought by Sister Wendy. And again, with our first three days, I wonder how the picture, which appears on the screen, might speak to us and relate to the Bible passage. Today's Bible passage is from Matthew 13, verses 24 to 30. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. The painting today is the harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are angels, painted in the 1980s by Roger Wagner. The essential sign that we have shown by the painting is that as grown-ups we have to accept responsibility. All action, says Sister Wendy, has consequences, but the consequences may not be visible now. Jesus is adamant that he will not destroy the wheat and the tares, that he will let the sheep and the goats pasture together until that time of judgment. None of us is holy wheat or holy tares. We are all, says Sister Wendy, a mixture of both, but every tear we have sown must be destroyed so that we can be pure wheat for God's holy bread. Either we must wait until the time of judgment for the angels to reap God's harvest, or we must cooperate with him and do it while we are still alive. Wagner's picture with the dark threatening sky and the angels with their sickles forewarns us of what is to come. We may look over our lives and see a vista like the golden grain, but as the reading reminds us, God knows there are tares hidden there. He will destroy them if we truly desire and ask him to make us pure.